Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today and today I'm going to be proving the NBA draft lottery that will be tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. If you live where I live, I live in Houston, I'm a Houstonian, uh, it will be 1 o'clock Central Time. So yeah, 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Time will be the draft lottery and uh, then right before that you will see uh, you know, ESPN pregame and Shortly after will be the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers Game 4, which will be a great game that's shaping out to be a great series, though. But I'm going to go over, you know, preview this preview this draft lottery. We're going to go over best odds for all 14 teams. And then, or, well, you know, not, not all 14 teams because there are some teams that have multiple picks in this year's draft. Um, and then I'm going to go over representatives for the... Uh, NBA draft lottery. So it, this is gonna, it's gonna, I think this year is going to be an interesting draft lottery just because the fact that there's not a clear cut number one overall draft pick this year. Um, so I mean, but it, it's going to be interesting. So uh, let's go to the full list of draft lottery representatives before I go over the odds. So, all right, for the Atlanta Hawks, you have. Landry Fields, the general manager. For the Charlotte Hornets, you have Brandon Miller, a player, of course. Uh, Chicago Bulls, representing them, will be player Julian Phillips. The Detroit Pistons, representing them, will be Asar Thompson, their first-round pick from last year. Representing the Golden State Warriors will be Brandon Petazemski, their first-round pick from last year. Representing the Houston Rockets, my favorite team, will be Ime Yadoka, their head coach from last year. Uh, representing the Memphis Grizzlies will be Tayshawn Prince, Vice President of Basketball Affairs. Representing the Portland Trailblazers will be first-round pick from last year, Scoot Henderson. Representing the Sacramento Kings will be first-round pick from a couple years ago, uh, two years ago, Keegan Murray. Representing the San Antonio Spurs will be Brian Wright, their general manager. Representing the Toronto Raptors will be Scotty Barnes. Representing the Utah Jazz will be Thurl Bailey, jazz legend and broadcaster. That's pretty interesting. Washington Wizards representing them will be uh, Bailal Bial Kulabali, who is their first-round pick from last year. So a lot of first-round picks from last year. Very interesting. It would be cool to see those guys representing their teams when uh, last year, I mean, these guys, you know, the reason, this, the reason they're where they are now. All right, so let's go over the odds. So um, now... No, the best odds are for the Detroit Pistons and the Washington Wizards. Both the Detroit Pistons and the Washington Wizards have a 52.1% chance to end up in the top four, and both teams have a 14% chance to get the number one overall pick. Then the Charlotte Hornets have a 50.3% 50 chance to get the third overall – sorry – they have the 50.3% 50, chance to get the top four, get in the top four, and a 13.3% chance to get, the, to get the number one. Portland, at number four, has a 50% chance to get in the top four and a 13.2% chance to get in the number one overall pick. San Antonio has a 42% chance to get in the top four and a 10.5% chance to get the number one overall pick. They're the team that got the first overall pick last year. Toronto has a 37.2% chance to get the top four, get in the top four, and a 9% chance to get the number one overall pick. Memphis has the 31.9% overall pick, uh, sorry, 31.9% uh, chance to get in the top four, and a 7.5% to get in the uh, for get the first overall pick, Utah has a twenty at eight has a twenty six point three, uh twenty six point three chance to get the top four, and a six percent chance to get the first overall pick. Brooklyn at nine, who this pick is going to Houston because of the James Harden trade. Uh, so the Rockets have a 20.3% chance to get in the top four and a 4.5% chance to get the number one overall pick. Atlanta, who has a 13.9% chance to get in the top four and a 3% chance to get the number one overall pick. Then Chicago, a 9.4% chance to get in the top four and a 2% chance to get the number one overall pick. Then Houston again, although this pick 
will go to OKC most likely, as it if this pick does not land in the top four for the Houston Rockets, my favorite team, then uh, Oklahoma City gets the pick. Now, to get in the top four, the Rockets have a 7.1% chance. So you got a 7.1% chance to keep your own pick. Then you have a 1.5% chance to get the number one overall pick. But the Rockets could end up with two draft picks. The Sacramento Kings have a 3.8% chance to get the top in the top four and a 0.8% to get the number one overall pick. And then the Warriors, which the Portland Trailblazers could end up getting this pick, have a 3.4% chance to get the get in the top four and then uh, have a 07 chance to get the number one overall pick this will be a very interesting draft lottery i'm excited for it let me know your thoughts and your predictions uh going over some predictions um i'm gonna go over i'm gonna go and say washington gets the first overall pick uh some bolder predictions uh the houston the houston pick that belongs to brooklyn at number nine i'm gonna say that jumps into the top seven i'm gonna say toronto gets into the top five and i'm gonna say chicago gets in the top 10 they have the 11th best odds so i i say toronto gets in the top five or top four i believe and uh and also my prediction is for houston with their draft pick from brooklyn to get the top seven uh, and i also think chicago gets in the top 10 let me know your thoughts and your predictions in the comment section and peace out